Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another preview for the Men of Steel DLC coming out for Steel Division 2. I got special access to see some of these videos. Thank you, Mickey. Remember, this is all a work in progress, so things may change before release, but it is coming out soon, and that is very exciting. Let's dive right into this. Hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out the Patreon down below. Here we go. We're into the last allied division that we will see, the new Bulgarian division. So new nation in the game. Should be exciting. The, one of the, the only armored division for the allies. So tab-wise, let's check this out. We have eh, somewhat limited recon tab. It's not horrible, but it's not huge either. So I, I would say average. It is average. Your infantry tab for a armored division is okay. Seven slots. Last two or three points. So it's not the cheapest, but it's also not the most overly priced thing I've ever seen. Your tank tab is massive, and you get 10 slots. And they're cheap up to the seventh one, so... I mean, you get a lot of tanks. We'll see what kind you get. Uh, support tab, really limited. This is not good. It's very expensive very quickly with 3, 3, 4 at the end. So that's tough. Anti-tank, pretty good. A couple one-point slots. Uh, nice size, good price. AA looks okay. Four slots. You don't need more than three, really, most of the time. So that's probably plenty. Arty tab looks pretty generous. Seven slots there, pretty good. And your air tab with eight. So not too shabby. Let's see what we got here. All right, BMW, don't take it. It's terrible. It does have radio. If you're desperate for a 10-point radio unit, fine. But it looks like there's another 10-point radio unit here that's probably better. It is. It has armor. So if you're if you're desperate to take a 10-point radio unit, take this one. Do not take the... Don't take the, the motorcycle. Even though this thing's a little slower, it does not matter. Take this instead. Please, I beg you. Good. Okay, continuing on here. Ah... Uh, I have no chance of saying these things. I, I I don't know Bulgarian. I'm so sorry, everyone who knows everything better than me. Uh, Razuznavachi. I'm sure that was horrible. Two-man recon team, nothing special. We've seen it before. Uh, so nothing exciting there. Oh, 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 I lied. Something exciting. SPW-222. Very exciting. You want that. Uh, this is an auto cannon. Yeah, this is an armored car. This is a recon car. You want that. That's very, very good, actually. Big check in the big plus in the box there on that one. Uh Razuzov Navachi, not Ekip. So just a bigger unit. No special transports. This is poo. I would not take this. All right, let's see what this thing is. I can't say that. It's a Yugoslavian unit. I think we've seen it before in NOV. I think. Pretty sure. Four Berettas, six rifles, two Berettas, and a Molotov cocktail. This unit is phenomenal for 25 points. Really high availability curve. It looks like, yeah, get five in A phase. Really strong. Absolutely must take this. Uh, so this guy, this guy, if you you can't, there's only eight SPW-222s. So if you take, you could take two in A and have eight SPWs in A. You could do that. Or you could just take one in B and have eight in B. So your choice. Um, you could probably just go eight in B this guy in A if you want, and then the M223 in, in A if you really want an armored car with a something. It's just a dinky machine gun. It's got something. So not the worst. We've seen worse recon tabs. All right. Lovish Tenkova. Yeah, I, I am so sorry. I really am. I, I wish I was not so bad at this. Uh, 15 points, so super cheap. Six-man availability, so it's probably 6, 12, 18. MP40, four rifles, a Boise anti-tank rifle and an AT grenade. Mm, it's got Raider. This is pretty bad. I mean, it's only 15 points, I guess. But it's pretty bad. I, I don't see a lot of situations where you... If this was like a Lati or a Solothurn AT rifle, I could definitely see an argument for it. Like 100% would probably take it. But with this thing, eh, probably not. Probably not. Don't think it does it for me. Borshi, we've seen this thing in NOV. It's a junky 20-point infantry unit. High availability. That's the only bonus. Leader. Two different kinds of leaders here. Commandeer. We saw this in NOV. This is a good leader. 12-man, 20 points. You want this. You probably want this for 20 points. Getting a 12-man with a Piat is really, really good. Uh, it's almost a definite take. Molta Pejota. I don't know, maybe. Um, I mean, the ZK-383 is good. It's got 150 meter range submachine gun. So this is a good submachine gun. 20 points. Availability is nothing special. 
I don't know what the transport is, but I have a feeling it's slow. Not great, but you might have to take it based on what I'm seeing here infantry-wise. They're all 20-point infantry, which is probably pretty bad. Okay. Okay, I mean, this unit's okay. Two ZK, 383s, seven rifles, MG34, and a Panzerfaust. Only comes in B and C, but yeah, I would say this unit's okay. It's not terrible. Pohota. Chunky 15-man squad for 20 points. That's pretty good, actually. ZB30, pretty good automatic rifle. You get one ZK, 383. Um, I mean, it's not doing, it's not lighting the world on fire, but for 20 points, this is good. 15-man squad for 20 points, not disheartened, is very good. Um, this is a definite. You you want at least one, maybe two of these for sure. Gives you some time to like chunk through some infantry. Stromovi, Pianiti, five men with Flammenwerfers. I mean, it's a normal. It's got shock. So all the Sturm Pioneers and stuff will have shock soon. Gives your units a 20% damage resist at 180 meters or less. So fine. Nothing special. Just a normal unit. Leader with radio. Nothing special. Leader without radio, but it has a Panzerbusch, which is the worst AT rifle in the game. This is terrible. Don't use it. Pianiti. It, it's exactly that. It's a pioneer. So infantry, they're all 20 points. Except for the leaders. That can be very good. Let me say, historically, 20 point infantry, when your whole infantry tab is 20 points, often outperforms what you expect it to perform. The Pohota, that big chunky 15 man squad, that thing's a pain in the butt to get rid of. Like that's a lot of units. That's a lot of men to kill. So... And you can get a lot, right? We have, what, seven slots here? So you take one leader, you do the Motopehota Faust unit in some phase. I'm not deciding what phase is. Pohota, Pohota, another Motopehota, and the Pianiti or the Sturm V Pianiti, and maybe even another one. You can fit all that in, probably have a solid 80 infantry units or more. So, yeah, this actually might be a okay infantry like squad. Uh, tab i mean it's not winning it's not winning big infantry fights but it definitely can hold its own can't be too upset with it all right so new tanks lots of them sorry i filmed like four of these in a row okay so we have the skoda s35 for 10 freaking points i mean you gotta take it because it's 10 points you get 24 and c <laughs> that's a lull 12 and A, 18 and B. Oh, good. God. No, oh, no. It does have HE shells, 40 millimeters of penetration. It's got a little bit of armor, one machine gun. I mean, this thing is gross. This is so good. Seriously, 10 points? This is so... We see how good T26s are. This is... I mean, it's got lower penetration. I get, give you that, but it fires 12 rounds a minute and has HE shells. You got to take this. 12 of them. In A. God. Leader for 10 points? I, with radio? Holy shysta. Okay, Shoka T11. This one has higher penetration. Still super high rate of fire. Looks like 12, 10, 8 availability for 15 points. I mean, kind of, yeah. Like, yeah. This is good. Like, I mean, it's not good, like, when you're, like, comparing it to a Panther or a Stug or a medium tank, but, like, for 15 friggin' points? Yes. All day. Praga P38. Another 70 millimeter penetration with a super high rate of fire. And HE shells, one machine gun again. A little bit more armor. It doesn't really make a difference when you're this low on armor. This dies to everything anyway. Again, really good. And you have 10 slots. Like, there's no reason not to. Panzer IV. It's a Panzer 4G. That's what it looks like. That means it has the lower armor and I think a slower turret rotation. Not 100% sure about that part, but the lower armor for sure. This is phenomenal. I mean, 65 point Panzer 4 and higher availability. Look at that here. 6, 12, 18 on there. That's really good. Panzer 4H, okay, with regular availability. Yeah, regular. You can't double vet them. Leader Panzer 4. You get Stug 3. I mean, this is a really good tank tab. I mean, there's there's no argument here. 
You got no heavy tanks, but like, whatever. So you don't. Stug 3s and Panzer 4s can kill things way above their point class by a mile. Uh, yeah. That is going to be probably one of the most obnoxious tank tabs in this entire game. Now, we have 50 millimeter more. I didn't get to see. Is that 800 or 500 meter range? Boogers. Go back. 500. Okay, so this is the junkie one. Shvar Loza, total garbage. MG34, definitely you get two cards. That's nice. That's nice. What is this? Skoda 37 mil. Oh, this is a new thing. Infantry gun, 40 millimeters of penetration, fires 12 rounds a minute. I don't know what the... it's. You get six, though, with one vet, comes in a horse. Probably pretty good. Don't know what the HE shell does, but that's okay. Probably, I would... You almost have to take it. Leaders, I mean, nothing 2K at all, though. Nothing even close. So that's rough. That is rough, having none of that. Is that an SPW 222 leader? It is. That's fun. That's fun. Solothurn. So whoa, what is that? That's not the normal Solothurn. Ooh, that looks fun. 40 millimeters of penetration, 500 meter range, 20 rounds a minute, 23, because you have to take it at that. 10 points? Three men? This is a very good unit. Very, very good. Yeah, definite on my almost must take list. Panzer Shrek is a Panzer Shrek. 37 mil. These are phenomenal. They have a heat rocket on them. Super duper good. Almost definitely take that for 30 points. 75 mil. These are awesome. They have heat shells. Really good HE. Fire really fast. These are phenomenal as well. Pack 38s. Love these things. Take these all day, every day. Would love to have them in every single division I ever play. Uh, yeah. Comes in horses. Awesome. And you do get pack 40s. Only one card, but you can bring them in B and have five of them. So that's quite good. And you still have the APCR on them. So yeah, this is a good AT tab overall. No 2K, but it's got a nice mix of units. 20 mils, garbage. No one wants them. They're trash. Get out of my face. Flak 36. Okay. It's not phenomenal AA piece, but it is good. It's solid enough. It'll get the job done for you. Skoda 80 mil. Okay, 125 millimeters of penetration. I don't know how far it fires. This looks like a like as like an 85 mil, so probably 1750 meter range. Penetration's not super high, but it gets by. 88. Okay, so you get a uh pack a flak 41, 88. That's really nice. Probably bring that in B, so you have four. That's your only 2K. You need it. You need it in B phase. Artillery, artillery leader, spotter. 75 mil howitzer thing. I mean, 50 points might be okay. Doesn't fire super fast, but might be all right. It's an infinite range mortar, essentially. Probably super inaccurate. 81 mil mortar, nothing special there. 105s, these are pretty bad, but a necessary evil in some divisions. Although I don't look, it doesn't look like this division will need to use them. It'll kind of, if you really want to have that, you can, but I don't think it's going to be a necessity. 110.220 mil off map. That's how I feel about that. Burn from the sky, you piece of crap. Anyway, continuing on. 150 mil howitzer. Usual SK, whatever it is. This is good. Solid. Nothing wrong with it. Always happy to have it. Ooh, what's this big Bertha going on here? 220 millimeter HE shell. You get four great availability. Normal one, two, four. Comes in one vet. That's even better. Three rounds a minute. This is a big boomy. I'd probably take it. It looks fun. It looks fun. It's not any more expensive than the 150. Fires one round a minute slower. Oh well, I'll take it for the bigger boom. It's a big boom, too. Oh yay, more off map. <laughs> Yeah, whenever it's off map. It's gross. It's stupid. I hate that stuff. Anyway, airplanes. I will lull if I see this in actual play. <laughs> Very bad resilience. It's got four crappy machine guns. And it's 40. This should be like 20 points because it's total garbage. 
I can't wait to see Luna play in this. I could totally see him using this. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Chaika? Chaika? Uh, 50 points only. 50 points is 50. It looks like a Stuka, but I don't know if it is. It's not, but I don't know if it, it has the same animation and stuff. Uh, recon plane, whatever. Another recon plane, Focke Wolf, no bombs, sad face. Strela E4. Oh, is this a is this a BF109 E4? Yeah, it is with the very bad resilience, half decent loadout. These are okay. For 60 points, these are all right. They die very easily, be prepared. Uh, they can shoot stuff down though. Uh Devoatin. Okay. It's got an okay loadout, honestly. Medium resilience. Okay, this is an all right fighter for 75 points. It's slow, but no, this is not the worst thing ever. For 75 points and medium resilience, that's okay. That's really all right, honestly. And it doesn't look like you have many other options. Vrana. Oh, it's got four. Okay, this is a very playable bomber. Six of them. Recon. Six, one, four 100 kilogram bombs. It's actually very good. It's very bad resilience and super slow. But, yeah, you never know. Could be okay. Stuka. This is a Stuka. Okay, this is a normal JU-87 Stuka dive bomber. Nothing fancy. You have one to nine G2. Okay. Stop moving. Ah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know I'm probably giving someone like sickness or something. I'm trying to have it not be blurry. Uragon. Two 250 kilogram bombs. 300 kilometers an hour. Very good resilience. I think it's too light. I think the bomb loadout is too light. I, I don't know if this is good. It's only 90 points though, and it's got 369 availability. So maybe... But I'm not convinced based on the stats. Not convinced based on the stats. G6, BF109 G6. This bomber, 100 points, six 100 kilogram bombs. I'm not that much more excited about this. Still very good resilience, a little faster, maybe, but it's not an exciting bomber, I would say. It's going to have a hard time killing a lot. Uragon with more 50 kilogram bombs. No, don't take bombers that have that big of a spread. IL-2 with the cluster AP. These are pretty good. You can get them in A right away. Very good resilience. Yeah, these things are solid. Nothing wrong with that. IL-2 with the AT rockets. Not very good. Might be a necessary evil, though, in this division. And that's the air tab. So this division actually looks pretty good, honestly, with that those disgusting light armor, your chunky 20-point infantry, serviceable AT tab, good artillery. Yeah. I think this division might be a player. Top tier? No, probably not. But good? Yes. I definitely think very playable and could make a splash in the meta. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.